Okay, so we're going to make some more uh, fairly minor updates. Hopefully this will be the last update video for a while. Um, because I keep, I kept running it, I kept figuring out some problems that um, the code was having. And some other additions that I wanted to make. Um, now the first thing we're going to do is, I'm going to show you how to get a fave icon. Um, now if you look at my, uh, my bookmarks here, my bookmarks toolbar, See, so you have all these links, and each of them has a little icon next to them, except for basic Nick. See, so we just have a little blank page, and it also shows it right here. Now, that's called the fave icon. So, to be able to get that, you need to make a small image. Generally, you want it about 64 pixels, so it can scale down. Um, so, you want it 64 by 64 pixels, and you want it to save as an ICO, for, uh, ICO file format. Um... Now you can go to, if you make the image 64 by 64, there's a website, I think it's convertico.com, um, and it's a great resource, and it'll convert your image to an ICO. Um, so in my images folder here, I've got this fave icon, and it's named faveicon.ico, and it's 64 by 64. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it so we can have that as our little image on the site. Um, and obviously if you're coding along with this, if, if you're downloading the source code, simply change the image uh, or, or whatever and everything will be good. So you want to put it inside of the head tag and I'm going to put it right after we declare the uh, CSS file. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in link tags whoops so after we have the link tags in um, we don't put anything within the tags, we just set uh, a bunch of attributes. Uh, now the first one we want to set is an REL, which is uh, kind of like relative, I think it stands for. Um, or maybe not, I don't know. So we have a rel of style sheet for our CSS, but for our image, we're going to say shortcut space icon. So it's kind of like the type, but not, if that makes any sense. Um, we're also going to set a type equal to whoops, images slash ICO, or it's actually image slash ICO. So that's kind of saying the file format is going to be in ICO. Um, and then we want to set the SRC, or the source. Now that's essentially going to be where our image is. Now we're going to put in a PHP code block and we're going to echo the site variable. Make sure you put in your semicolon after it. And then after our code block, we're going to put slash images slash favicon dot ico. So favicon dot ico. So that's essentially the only line of code you need to make it so you can use a favicon. Now, after, after you upload the files, you may need, and your users may need, to clear their cache and their website history, or after so long, it'll just automatically update. But if you want it to, to work faster, then you would clear your cache and your history. So, I'm going to upload the files and do that. Okay, so after uploading the icon and the top file, the top.php, if we, if after you refresh the page, if you hit Control U in Firefox, which will bring up your source code, you should have this new line of code in here, and if you click on it, it should show your image. Now this is the image in 64 by 64. So we can close this. You can notice how it's not showing the image just quite yet. So in some browsers, it's Control Shift Delete, and it'll it'll bring up the Clear Recent History window, and I'm just going to clear everything and clear now. So if we refresh the page. It may not show it as it's doing here, but eventually it will begin to update. Um, usually it's not instant, actually. Um, so eventually it will begin to update on people's computers, so it'll start showing the icon as long as you have the code set up properly uh, and everything like that. So that's how to set a fave icon. Now, the other um, problem I was, I was realizing that the register page had is that sometimes when people would register and they would select an avatar image on the register page it wouldn't it would upload it to the server and everything but it would rename the image improperly 
it would add in an extra period. So it would be like whatever their username is, period, period, and then the extension. So say PNG or JPEG or whatever it is. So it would add in the extra period. I took a look. At, I took a look at the register page, and we have this if statement right here to say if name, which is our our uh, our avatar name essentially. So I'm gonna set up a variable called avatar name equals, and I'm just gonna put a semicolon. Now right here we have username dot ext for extension. If we hit Control X right there and Control V right here, so we have username dot ext. So our extension variable. So notice that we're not putting this in quotation marks at all. And that's the very important part. Because our username would be the username itself. And the extension already has the single period in it. So if you don't put quotation marks, this period in this variable is saying that we're going to concatenate or append. Uh, which essentially means we're going to put these two variables together without any other text. And since our ext variable already has the period inside of it for the extension, we don't want to add another one. So for the avatars, or for the uh, location right here, if we simply just put in the avatar name variable, um, that will solve that problem that the register file was having, or the register page was having. <clears throat> and now something else I wanted to do is on the profile page, um, I'm going to take away the .com in the title, and I'm going to add down here, I'm simply going to add basic nick, and that was just a minor thing I wanted to do. Um, and the other thing is, is on this image right here, I want to make the image have a border, uh, a, a double border. So I'm going to set a, uh, a span around it, and I'm going to say style equals, actually we don't even need to do that. On the image tag, where we have our height and width declared, we just need to set a style attribute. And if we simply say border, colon, semicolon, and in between our colon and semicolon, we want to put three pixels. So the width of our border is going to be three pixels. It's going to be double, so it's going to be a double border. And we want it to be uh, black, so I'm going to put pound or hash, whatever country, depending on what country you live in, and then three zeros to signify black. So we have a three pixel border, so we're going to have a one pixel thin border of black, and then we're going to have uh, an empty border, essentially, and then we're going to have another one pixel border of black. So it's kind of going to add in a little bit of a spacer there. So, and then we're saying it, um, it's going to be a double border style, and we want the color to be black. So if we upload our profile page, and we just say, if we just go to the profile page, profile ID, and I'll just set it to one, so it'll be my profile. So we have the image now, and we now have this uh, border going around it, three pixel border, a one pixel black, one pixel nothing, and another one pixel black. So it kind of adds a little bit more definition to um, the borders in the border set, or the uh, the avatar images and the, their setup itself. So it kind of makes it look a little bit nicer, and I definitely like it uh, a lot better. So that is the end of this update video. I believe this is part 56 or so, somewhere around there. Um, so that's going to conclude this video. Um, in the next video, we will actually begin our work on the edit videos page, and then uh, later on after that, we'll get to something I think a, lo a lot of people have been requesting, so um, I'm not going to say it. Um, I want to thank Shane, sorry, I'm blanking on your last name, um, he sent me an email saying, hey, you don't have an avatar image, you should probably get one, or something along the lines of that, or not an avatar image, a fave icon image, so I thought I'd do this tutorial, um, so yeah, so thanks for watching.